Political turmoil. BD accuses Jamisa's activists of creating parody accounts. Tension within the opposition party, Citizens Coalition for Change CCC, has escalated as its vice president. Tendai BD accuses activists linked to party president Nelson Chamisa of orchestrating parody social media accounts to smear his name. BD alleges that these accounts were used to falsely connect him to self-imposed interim secretary general Senjizo Chibangu. The allegations of internal division and the presence of alleged sellouts have cast a shadow over the party's unity. Bidi spoke exclusively to Newsday, expressing his disinterest and denying any association with Shibangu. He firmly believes that the parody account was created by Chamisa and his team, emphasizing the need to verify its authenticity. I'm not interested. That account must be parody account that was created by Chamisa and his team. Just check it. I have not met Shibangu and let me repeat that I am not interested. BD fumed. The fabricated post on social media claimed that BD and Shibangu had a meeting at a prominent hotel in Harare, discussing crucial party matters. However, Shibangu's spokesperson, Kalafani Fujini, disavowed the account, labeling it as fake. In another incident, former Mayor Jacob Mafume was reportedly barred from attending a council meeting by Harare Councillor Denford Ngadzior. This occurred prior to the election of Lovju Chitenga as mayor, following Shibanga's recall of Ian Makwan and the subsequent recalls affecting numerous MPs, senators, and councillors throughout Zimbabwe. It is understood that Mafume is fearing for his life after he was threatened with unspecified action. Mafume told Newsday yesterday that he never wronged anyone, saying what happened at caucus meetings will remain regrettable. We are ready for service delivery of the residents and council if asked to do so. So my conscience is clear even during the period when I was mayor, Mafume said. I wrong no one except those who want to take Harare. What happened at caucus meeting stays at the caucus meeting. Reports suggest that Eric Murai, the CCC Provincial Task Force Chairperson for Harare, along with official Matsunda Makuma, forcefully entered the chambers to ensure that councillors voted according to Chamisa's directives. Murai and Makuma allegedly scrutinized the ballots before allowing the councillors to cast their votes. Gadzio refrained from commenting on the incident, considering it an internal matter. Chitengu, the newly elected mayor, declined to provide a comment on the unfolding events. However, there are concerns that Mafume, who remains popular within the council, may make a comeback due to his respected standing. CCC spokesperson promised Mkwananzi denounced Shibangu as an imposter aligned with the ruling party. Zanupia. Mkwananzi emphasized the folly of associating with someone like Shibangu, questioning the democratic principles of those who support him. On the other hand, Shibangu distanced himself from allegations of ZANU-PF involvement, attributing the internal issues within CCC to manipulation during candidate selection and a disregard for party values. Tensions continue to rise within the CCC, with the party grappling with internal conflicts and accusations of impropriety. As the political landscape remains uncertain, the party's members and the public await further developments hoping for a resolution that upholds democratic principles and restores the CCC to its foundational values.